Well, hey everybody, welcome back. All right, well, today's going to be a big day, so let's get right into it. And yeah, Mr. Bucket still isn't talking to me. Honestly, I think he's jealous. All right, so this weekend, um, we're going to be exploring a bunch of mines that have a date range from about 1905 to 1925. That's where we're at here. And all of these uh, that we're going to be taking a look at today are, are gold and silver mines with other trace minerals, too, um, acting as secondary commodities. But the primary commodity out of all of these was gold and silver. So the first one we're going to take a look at today is, um, well, this one right here. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Now, uh, I already poked into what used to be the adit. I, I jumped out, grabbed my flashlight, looked in there, and unfortunately it's collapsed. But this area does have uh, some interesting artifacts lying around. So uh, I want to show those to you before we head off to the next mine. Okay, let's get the drone up in the air and take a peek at these things. All right, guys, so before we get started in on the artifacts, just take a look at the view. Yep, we're in an entirely different part of Nevada today. It's an absolutely gorgeous bluebird day. Right over here is the mine. Tina, I know you're watching, so out there on that hill, way, way out there, I did see a wild horse this morning. Um, but now I think he's down in the um, wash down there, and I haven't been able to spot him for the last few minutes, but uh, he's out there. Okay, uh, so you can see the big waste rock pile right there. That all came from right here. Let me show you. So here's where the adit was back in the day. Right there. So I poked my nose in there and indeed, yep, it's all collapsed. And the reason it's collapsed is because of what's going on right here. Fast forward, I don't know, maybe 70s or 80s, I'm only guessing, but they uh, came up here and they did a lot of um, I wouldn't necessarily call this open pit, but prospecting with a bulldozer or a front end loader or a track hoe, not 100% sure. All of that waste rock also came from right here too. And uh, I tossed a small rock down this shaft and it goes down about mm, roughly 100 feet until it hits its debris field. Okay, and then over here, As you just saw in the drone footage just a little while ago, these are all of the prospects. So you might be asking me, well, why did they do that? Well, you can see what they did. They started on top of the hill, they backed up the bulldozer, and then they just raked it straight down. Well, what they're doing is they're looking for uh, the vein. They're looking for the ore body and they know that it's not it's not very deep so uh, what they did is they just carved down so that they could get a nice um, look at the various layers and then they probably sampled that and had it assayed but unfortunately when you do something like this you leave these terrible scars on the land and now they're here forever and this was done back in the day when um, there wasn't much regulatory for these types of practices. Uh, that's all changed now. And because these miners are long gone, there's nobody to come back out here uh, to clean up this mess. And that's what the, um, that, that's what mine reclamation is for. So when you open up a, a, a small mine and you have to post bond, that bond money is, is uh, put into a bank account and held there just in case you walk away from your mine and uh, you don't clean it up. Then they take that money, hire some people to come out here and then they clean up your mess. But uh, like I said, all of that wasn't available or, or those practices weren't done back in the day. 
Okay, now let's take a closer look at these uh, artifacts here. We'll start down here. I think that right there, let me see, Is, was that part of a fan for bringing air into the mine? No, no, that's one of those uh, centrifugal classifiers. You see all the holes? Let me get low here. See the various sized holes there? It's either made for uh, uh, dewatering or some type of um, centrifugal classification. Okay, over here, there's another neat artifact. Let me look. Oh, here we go. Let's look at this. That looks like part of a... Um, yeah, I think that's part of a pulley for a, a conveyor belt is what that is. Yeah. All right, let's keep looking around. See the stairs off to the left? So they had all their various uh, machinery on different levels here. Look at this big tank. Can we get close enough to look up in there? <laughs> let's try. Get over here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, pretty dark. Okay, let's go back up here. All right. Boy, this thing. So this was this was used. Uh, this is a feeder. And that's used to feed your um, smaller ore into another part of this process. Boy, I tell you what. Now that I've looked at that. Uh, that thing on the top, I don't know, that has me guessing. Maybe not, maybe not. No, that is something else because they're certainly not going to feed on a 90 degree angle like that. Uh, no, well, something else is going on there, but I'm not 100% sure, guys. Tell you what, you go ahead, drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. There are some older miners in the crowd, and you guys uh, have uh, pointed out a few things in the past where I've been wrong, where I've been right. Oh, look here. Look at this pump that's still sitting here to this very day. Can we get in on that? Maybe a little bit closer? Look at this. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 now the wind's kicking up. All right, wind. Cool. Let's look at it from this direction. Oh yeah. Looks like some kind of a pump, maybe part of an air compressor. And we got some goodies over here. Let's take a close look at those real quick. Is this an old accumulator? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, I think so. Yep, that's that's an accumulator for compressed air. I'm pretty darn certain. I want to look at it from this angle. It used to stand upright. See, it's laying on its side right now. Okay, we always have to look in the barrels, see if there's anything hiding in there. Bodies, murder weapons. <laughs> no, nope, nothing in that barrel. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Okay, what else do we have around here? Anything interesting? Bunch of shelv shelving on the back side of the ramp here. Interesting. And finally, old Bob sitting on top of the ramp. So they had this ramp in place, uh, which tells me immediately that they were using trucks at this operation and trucking the ore 
over here, then dumping it into the crusher and crushing it down smaller and smaller um, and processing it down to concentrates. Now it looks to me, because we're not seeing any uh, tailings down at the end of this thing, see you got nothing down here in the, in the bottom, that tells me that everything was t being taken off site and processed somewhere else. All right, guys, well, let me flip around here. Um, enjoy the nice view. So what we're gonna do now is head off to the next site because oh, we just weren't able to get underground on this one. But at least we got a chance to take a look at all of these neat looking artifacts laying out and about. All right, guys, <laughs> let's head over to the next one. All right, guys, here we are. Yep, what I did is I drove uh, old Bob up on the top of this uh, tall hill here. That gives me a nice line of sight to not only this mine, but the one way over there. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna start with these mines over here on the, uh, what, northwest side of the hill, and then work our way all the way down to the southeast. And they're just scattered all through here. But before we uh, start going into holes, I want to get the drone up in the air and show you guys uh, what we're going to be going after today. But before we do that, look at what I found. So as I was coming up the hill over here, I found a little campsite. Um, and here's a beer. Here's a beer that somebody left behind. Still, still full. I've never seen this brand before. It's, uh, it's from the, the Belching beaver brewing company yes the belching beaver and up here it says miso honey <laughs> let me read it totally to you it says it says miso honey blondie <laughs> oh too funny never seen anything quite like it yeah the belching beaver should I, should I give it a, I don't know, who knows how long it's been laying out in the sun. Let's open it. Hey, it don't smell that bad. <laughs> well, it can't be that old. Yeah, who knows, maybe it's been laying out on the ground for a year, but tastes all right to me. But you know what, guys? Beer's not my thing. <laughs> I'm a whiskey drinker. <laughs> and I'm going to pour that out right here. Okay, so um, let's, get the, uh, let's get the drone up in the air and start showing you some of these sights, okay? All right, guys. Okay, here we are, guys, perched on top of the hill. Oof, I'm glad I only took a couple sips of that beer and poured it out. <laughs> now, I'm not a beer drinker. No. Never, never really have been. Jameson and Coke is my elixir of choice. Okay, so down here. Here's our first mine. Look at all the tailings. There's a building over there. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to be poking around there, aren't we? So, where are all the... Let's, let's kind of uh, orbit the site. 
makes me wonder, you know, what do we have here? Is it going to be a a horizontal uh, haulage at it, or is it going to be a shaft? Wow, look at the size of that waste rock pile. Holy mackerel. Okay, so... <laughs> oh boy, that gets me really excited. Alright, let's get closer. So there's our ore bin. And... Oh, I think we've got a shaft right there. Uh oh, I'm losing my line of sight. Yeah, can't go that far down. It's saying, no, I don't like that. Okay, let me make some adjustments here. There we go. Yeah, I think that all of this material might have come out of a shaft. But, see that right over there? Okay, so let me point it out to you. You see the ore bin? And at about the 1 o'clock position of the ore bin, we've got a vertical shaft. And then at the 12 o'clock position, just above it, there is a what appears to be a haulage at it. So we'll go down there and we'll get a closer look at that. Okay, let's go back up this direction. Now, there you can see old Bob on top of the hill. Now let's go get a closer look at these other mines. Okay, we got a long ways to fly out there. Let me put it into sport mode. Here we go. Yep, this drone has about a 14 to 15 kilometer range. That's what I like about this one. You can do this type of recon with this drone. Okay, so we were gonna we're gonna have to follow that road. And then right over here is our first big waste rock pile. Now, um, pay attention, guys. Remember, I told, I told, I, I've taught you this in the past. When you see mines like this, you know that the lowest waste rock pile on the hill is more than likely going to be the primary haulage at it. And as you can see here, that is indeed the case because that's the biggest pile of all. And indeed, right there we have a, uh, a portal. Yep. Now we've got 100 feet higher up on the hill. Another one. Right up here. Let's get a closer look at that. Ha ha! We have another portal right there. See? Center screen. Fantastic. And then there might even be something above it. There, indeed there is, right there. There's another portal. Yep. That one looks kind of uh, collapsed. Uh oh, I see a shadow from a, a bird. He's not too happy with my drone. I hope he doesn't attack it. All right, now turning around. Let's go this way because we have a whole bunch more mines off this direction around the side of the hill. Look there, another big waste rock pile sitting in that gully. Oh, hold on guys. Nope, that's the one where I found the beer. <laughs> yep, I just immediately recognized it. Yeah, center screen. So I drove old Bob over there to see if that one uh, was open, and it's not. It's been uh, torn apart by uh, prospecting operations with heavy, equip heavy equipment. However, off this direction, I haven't checked these yet. Look at these out here. So we got one there. These are a little bit smaller. That's why we're going to do these last. We got one there. I think I can get a little closer. Let's hope I don't lose my transmission. Oh yeah, that looks like something we might be able to get into. The one on the left. Not so certain about the one on the right though. Yeah. But eventually, either this weekend, next weekend, or the one after that, we will get over there and get a closer look at those. Okay, now let's go real fast through the uh, district here. Wow, just a beautiful day. 
And I want to point one more thing out to you. We're going to go back to that big waste rock pile. Because I want to point it out to you from this angle. Because I see a problem. I do. I see a big, big problem. You guys see it? Well, now that I'm uh, showing this to you, showing it from this angle, I'm going to point it out to you. Okay, so clearly we've got a main haulage added off to the left with that huge pile. Then about 80 feet higher up on the hill, we've got another one. But the portal is going into all of this alluvium. That's what this is. These are uh, weathered gravels from erosion that's come off of this hill over the eons. And it's created a fan-tailed fan alluvium geological feature. So that means that those portals are going to have to go through that. And that stuff is incredibly crumbly. Incredibly crumbly. Now I'd imagine that somewhere as we get deeper, deeper, we're eventually going to get into solid rock. <laughs> but be before we get into solid rock, we're going to have to, t to walk through all of that super crumbly alluvium, making for a very, very dangerous exploration. Okay, now let's get back over to the mine that uh, we're going to be doing here in just a few minutes. And as I recall, there was some kind of a building right over here. So since I have the drone in the air, let's go get a better look at that. There's a few prospect pits down below right there. I'm starting to see old Bob off in the distance. And right over here should be the building. Old stone building. Let's see. Was it that? I think it's right over here. Yeah, here we go. We're getting closer to it now. All right, let me uh, slow things down a little bit there. Okay, here we go. Let's get a closer look at that. Oh, very cool. All hand stacked rock. That's an oldie there. Oldie, oldie. Neat. Let's kind of circle around it. Well, I mean, that's the quick way of making a structure. You just uh, walk around and pick up a bunch of rocks, and uh, this is going to make for a, a fine windbreak. If it was me, though, I probably would have put it lower on the hill to get out of the wind, but instead of right up here on the crest. Kind of interesting though. All right. Where's old Bob at? Right over here. Okay, here we go. I'll put this puppy back in sport mode and okay guys, so uh, I'm going to take old Bob down to the mine site. We're going to get a closer look at that uh, vertical shaft and hopefully cross our fingers that portal will be accessible okay i'll see you over there all right guys here we are yep i decided to park down here and let me tell you why now just as i was explaining earlier when you get to sites like this eight times out of ten the lowest waste rock pile on the hill is going to be your primary haulage at it. Now I've got two ravens flying around above my little drone. You can see that raven in the upper right hand part of your screen over there. And <laughs> he's not, they are not too happy with whatever this thing is they see flying around. So I'm going to try to keep it low into the ground and keep it out of their airspace, not to bother them. So let's see what we have here now. Ah, a shaft, a very steep shaft with PVC pipes. So we know that we've had some, uh, we know we've had some prospectors here. Wait, let me get a better angle on that for you. Okay, that, that's better. Yeah, the wind's tossing me around pretty good now. 
That's neat. Look at the look at the configuration of this one. See how the um the bucket would come up and then uh now it, the 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 word it escapes me. The two tongs on each side of the skip bucket come up. They hit that right there, those curved um those curved pieces of wood with the slat rail you see attached to it, and that forces the bucket to tip over and then pour out right there. Now I know they're not called tongs. No, that's not the word. It, it's escaping me right now. You know that sometimes I really wish I had the brain of Jeff Williams because that guy, I tell you what, when it comes to terminology, <laughs> he's just uh, he, the words just come out of his head like like an, an encyclopedia. Look at this thing. Oh, wow, that's really cool. That could be something that we could, uh, you know, put a rope on us and get a closer look. Yep. But now, all right, let's look for haulage addits, though. I don't see any. So that means that all this material, unless this is something over here, what's this? Oh, what's left of a little building here? Yeah. Shelves can, pieces and parts, plumbing, some uh, Prestone antifreeze for your drill. I wonder when the, the newer miners were out here doing this. Maybe in the 90s? Not sure. Well, look. I mean, look at the look at the fire pit. I mean, you got fresh cut firewood, um, fresh ash in the pit. Uh, that's pretty suspect, isn't it? Yeah, somebody might just have a claim on this. Yep. But we're going to get the handheld camera out, and we're going to get a closer look at that. All right, next. Let's get up here. And take a look at this building. Now, off here to the right, see that? There's another shaft on the left there. And then it looks like this could have been uh, dynamite storage right here. So either we had... Either we had dynamite storage or this was some type of a root cellar for canned goods or a combination of the both. Now it's all collapsed. So we have a short shaft. All right. Now look at here. This building even had a little garage. How cool is that? Let's check it out. Kind of dark in here. Yeah, it's dark because I have my uh, sunglasses on my lens. That's why. So I'm not going to go inside. I, I could have... But I got to keep my sunglasses on because it's such a bright day. So we'll we'll take the handheld camera up there. We'll poke in there. It'll either end up on this episode or I'll put it in a shorts. All right, next, we got to get a closer look at this or this or bin. Look at the barrel up there. <laughs> oh, and it has a gate on it. We've seen those in the past. That's neat. Still has the wheel. After all these years, look at that. Cool. Yep, that's the control your output flow. That's what that's for. All right, then. Whoa, look out there. Watch out there. All right, let's see what we have here. Now, here's that shaft I was showing you guys. Right there. It's a pretty deep one too. I tossed a little I tossed a small rock down into it, but as you can see, it's all collapsed now. And uh, you can see my tire tracks there down the road. So I did drive up here because the first thing I wanted to look at, because I saw it on Google Earth, was this right here. I thought for sure we had an at it. 
but it only goes in about 15 feet and stops. But look at the geology. See the margin right there? I'm going to put the margin on center screen. So off to the left, we have some type of a limestone material. And then we have these porphyry um, hydrothermal uh, intrusions. And so that must be where they're finding the gold, is in that stuff right there. Just like the stuff that we um, uh, found in uh, Goldfield, Nevada all those many years ago. Same type of stuff. Let's look over here. We've got a, maybe this was an old uh, shop. Let's take a look. Yep, there's a bed spring. A newer one, newer model of the bed spring. Mattress, water tank. What does it say on the side of that? Look at here. There we go. Let me, can you guys read that? Something, something, Reno. All right. Anything uh, written on this one too? No. Now I did see off over this direction. See, that's what I like about, that's why I'm using this drone right now because see, we can really cover a whole lot of territory I thought I saw some junk laying down in this ravine. See, my legs, they're just, my legs are smiling at me right now because I don't have to walk all this and explore it. But, it's a give and take. When you, when you do drone explorers, you can cover a lot of ground. But you might just not see some cool stuff like, um, there could be a watch laying on the ground or part of an old artifact all right here's it like see there's an oven that's an old stove does it have the top on it anymore yeah the, the first thing that people always take with those is the door <laughs> yeah okay that's it we've uh, scoured the whole site now let's get the uh, handheld cam out and, ooh, 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 what's this? What's this? Do I have enough battery? Is that, is that a waste rock pile? Hold on, guys. I just saw, I, I didn't see this from earlier. Let's look here. That's a waste rock pile. Oh, look at here. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Bingo. See, I would never even have spotted that unless we had the drone up in the air. How cool is that? Yeah, we got one right there we need to go take a look at. Smaller ones. Um, all right, so I'm going to go land the drone now, and then we're going to take a closer look at that shaft and go inside the building. All right, guys, let's explore this old cabin. But first, I want to start over here because I saw some writing. And it says, made by the Nevada Sheet Metal Works out of Tonopah, Nevada, right there. Okay. And there's some fenders behind me laying on the ground that are from a Model T. So we're definitely in the 20s here. Okay, where would you guys like to start? Um, let's just go through the front door, I suppose. Let's see what we have in here. Now, I like looking down here on the threshold. And I like always, that's the first thing I look at when I find a cabin, because I want to see just how many people came in and out of here to wear the, the threshold board down. That one's pretty war. All right, well, we've got our traditional uh, tongue and groove. And uh, above me here, we've got a nest. That could be an owl's nest right there. All right. 
Yeah, let's keep on going. We'll go back here into the back bedroom area. Here's our closet. Let's look over here. Over in the corner, there was a little, uh, that, that was a table and a shelf. But you notice something, guys? You see what we're not seeing here? A whole bunch of modern graffiti and stuff like that. That's because uh, we're, we're way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you got to spend a good part of your day just to get here. And that's why we're not, we're not seeing anything like that. I sure would like to find something from the miners, though. That would be neat. Anything hiding inside the closet? Let's look in there. Well, the wire for hanging the clothes is still there. Anything hiding up here? No. No. I'm looking for pencil scribblings. That's what I'm looking for. Anything hiding up on the shelf? No. Nothing up there. Hmm. Okay, let's keep looking around. I'm looking at all the walls. So there was like a wallpaper here. See the see the pattern, see the texture. And then off over here, looking up, you guys can see the chimney. So they would have had a pot belly stove right there in the corner. And this is where I would have been sitting here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera down. Just like that. Heck yeah, you know darn well that one time there was a chair right here. This is great. You got a nice little view. You can look right out that way towards the mine, that way. You can look over here at the garage. And you got your pot belly stove right over there. You just sit here, enjoy your cup of coffee, watch the miners work right up there. How cool was that, huh? Neat stuff. All right, let's get a closer look at the garage. Turn it around. Can there be anything interesting in here? Now, just imagine that. Okay, so here we are. Let me get up, get out of the sun there. So you got your Model T pickup truck that's been backed in sitting here okay gotta use your imagination and then looking up here on the wall you can see all the nails see that just like in anybody else's garage where you pound a nail into the stud so you can hang your tools your shovels your pickaxes things like that whatever the case may be mm-hmm okay Turn it around here. Still not seeing any writing. Okay, let's head back out. I want to show you those old fenders. That proves that we're in the 20s, which are right over here. These are the fenders that were probably on that truck. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I don't know. Right here. Okay, all right guys, so I think we got a fair enough look at the ore bin. We don't need to get closer on that, but we do, we do need to um, go around the corner here and take a closer look at that shaft. Let's do that next. All right guys, here we are. All right, let me flip the camera around. That's right, old Bob's looking good today. Now let's get a closer look at this shaft and then i'm going to show you guys uh what these prospectors were pulling out of here so more than likely they're using that pvc pipe right there for uh pumping air down in here if there was water in the bottom um let me get my flashlights set up in the right configuration there we go if there was water in the bottom there'd be a much smaller piece of uh HDPE or high-density polyethylene pipe 
Let's look down there. Oh yeah. Nice. So if 90 degrees is vertical, you're, what you're looking at there is about 80. 80 degrees. Definitely wouldn't do it without a rope assist. No way. Huh. There's a little rock right here. I'm gonna see if I can hear it hit the bottom. One second. One, two, three. Oh, I see what it's doing. It looks like it goes all the way, it goes down at, at about 80 feet down, maybe 50, eh, 50, 50 to 60 feet. And then it curves back and angles um, more that way down there. But yeah, yeah, I'd have to be on my rope for that. Okay, now. Yeah, you can see, look, there's a, like a brand new turnbuckle. Uh huh. Now let me let me show you what they're pulling out of here. This is what's called a a stage pile. So they're staging the ore right here, putting it in the pile, and this is what would have been taken away, crushed up to get the gold out. Now the miners that were here must have said, well, there's probably not 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 a whole heck of a lot in that pile, so they just decided to leave it here. So I'll have to do a little bit of investigating. I'll see if this is an active mining claim. You know, more more than likely it's not. Um, these guys, uh, as time goes by, they don't want to pay their assessment fees no more, and they just let the claim lapse, and that's the end of it. Looking down in there in the bottom, and then way over there is where we found that other adit. Okay, let's look over here real quick. Used to be an attic right there. Yep. And now it's collapsed. And then that other one was somewhere right over here. Yeah, right down there. There's a small one, and then the much larger one is right over there. And that's what I want to do next. I want to drive down there um, and poke around a little bit. I'll see you down there. All right, guys, so I found something else kind of interesting. Now, let me flip the camera around. That's where we just were. Down in the bottom is the road. That's what I said, that that's where we were going to go, but I'm not able to find the road I know it wraps around the hill over there somewhere, but as I was heading back to try to find that road, I noticed there was another level here, and indeed we've got another at it right here. Now this one shoots in straight towards the shaft higher up on the hill. Let's see if, uh, let's see if this is anything. Oh, wouldn't you know? See, it did indeed at one time. And there was a stay out, stay alive sign here, but now all of this is, you'd have to do a whole heck of a lot of digging. Nope, darn it. This one is completely pinched off. Okay. All right. I'm still poking around, <laughs> finding interesting things, kind of like um, this right over here. See all these carbide tins? Right here, that's what those are. And I just got done tripping over the lids. Yeah, so guys, uh, I'm gonna keep poking around. I'll see what else I can find. All right, guys. Well, I have decided that what this is gonna be today is a recon episode. Yep, it's already getting somewhat later in the day. Um, I would rather start on uh, going underground tomorrow get up here at an earlier time, and then start exploring some of these adits. Oh, <laughs> I just heard, I can hear a pack rat. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a pack rat under the floorboards here. He's right over there somewhere scratching around. This is pretty neat. Um, the uh, 
the baseboard here, this is the baseboard, or otherwise known as a mop board. It even has a, um, a taper here. What's the name for that? See, my, my brother's the carpenter. I'm not the carpenter. He is. He would know exactly what, what that's called right there. Yeah, pretty neat. You know, I like to do this. I like to just sit in these places um, and just kind of relax and meditate and take it all in. Try to imagine the lives of these guys. You know, I can picture the fellers, you know, coming in and out, in and out of that doorway, just like many of you guys do. And you, know, you go to work every day. What's the first thing you do? You go into an office of some kind. Maybe a time clock is in there, the foreman, the boss, the manager, the president of the company, whatever the case may be, you have a few words, then you go to your job. Same thing here. These guys come in, check in, whatever the case may be, say a few words to the foreman, then up the hill and off to the mine. But uh, just think, you know, all the conversations, all the laughs, all the blood, sweat, and tears, everything that went on in these places back then. Yeah, too cool, huh? I think I was born in the wrong time, in the wrong era. <laughs> I think uh, if I had to choose, well, you know, honestly, guys, you know, late 1800s, that was rough. Um, have you, you guys ever seen the movie A Million Ways to Die in the West? <laughs> it's a comedy, but there's a lot of truth to it, okay? So I don't know if I would have been... I don't know about the late 1800s. Those were some pretty rough times. But maybe around like 19, between 1905 and 1925, that would be pretty neat. Because the Industrial Revolution is just, you know, starting to kick off. Um, that would be pretty cool to watch how all of that got developed. That would be neat. So with that, guys, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. Yeah, I was hoping to get you underground today, but... Um, just didn't turn out that way. It's a, But it did turn out to be a really neat recon day. So hang in there. Uh, so next Saturday, <laughs> we're definitely going underground and we're going to start poking into some of these holes. Okay, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this weekend's adventure. And I'll see you all again next weekend. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.